Tonight with breaking news, a bizarre and tragic twist in the fatal car crash from yesterday in Racine County. This was the fiery scene on I-94 and tonight investigators have learned the case is connected to a homicide investigation in Illinois. Madeline, Madeline Anderson joins us live in the newsroom. Real plot twist here, Madeline. Yeah, Ben, so far the driver and lone casualty of that crash has not yet been identified because the body was badly burned. But we now know the vehicle involved was registered to a woman found dead the same day, 90 miles away. Seven hours after Racine County Sheriff's deputies respond to a fiery crash along I-94 and County Highway K that leaves one dead. Sheriff's deputies in Winnebago County, Illinois, are called to a report of a suspicious death at a home in Rockford. A family member had gone to the house to check on her sister uh, because she hadn't heard from her all day. Upon arrival, found her deceased in her bedroom. The deceased has been identified as 24-year-old Destiny Talotsky. Deputy Chief Mike Schultz says there's evidence to indicate she was murdered. There was a, a considerable amount of blood that was on scene and there was some markings on her body, but nothing to lead us to absolute concrete conclusions of what the cause of death was at this point. In addition to autopsy results, Schultz is waiting on one critical piece of information to help him solve the case. We're hoping uh, the identity of the uh, person that's involved in uh, Racine's crash uh, may help us uh, piece together the timeline. Tolotsky owned this now charred 2006 Pontiac G6 GT. Schultz says he has an idea who may have been behind the wheel of her car Friday morning, a male known to Tolotsky. Law enforcement from both states are now working together to get to the bottom of this double tragedy. It certainly isn't uh, a typical uh, death investigation for us, and I'm sure it's not a typical uh, fatal crash for the uh, deputies in Racine County. However, I, I believe after both agencies get our detectives together, things will really uh, clear itself up. And autopsies for the bodies will be performed on Monday and Tuesday. Meanwhile, we're seen in Winnebago County Sheriff's deputies are meeting Monday to share information. Reporting live in the newsroom, Madeline Anderson, Fox 6 News. Madeline, thank you.